Hey guys, and welcome back to another Detective Pikachu video. In the last episode, we finished Chapter 6 CNN and found out that Max was the one that swapped out Karina's violin, but we found out that Keith set the Yama to Paul and Tim. And she was the person behind the instance of Vine Park that made Charizard go berserk. So I think we're now on Chapter 7, Rhyme More. And I don't know, I don't. Um, wait, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure what a, I think, I think I know what a warp is. Chapter 7, Rhyme Morph. Oh, it's you two. Uh, that same dream again. Hey, Pikachu, what's up? It's way too early. Uh, tell me about it. Uh, I'm so sorry to wake you. I think I'm forgetting something. Promise. As I was saying, I think a wharf is where those from all around the world uh, with cargo come in and bring the cargo into the city. No, I'm not going to listen to you. Let's just go. So I think we headed to the Baker Detective Agency to ask about the locket. So maybe Keith actually has a company? Who would have thought the locket was a camera? Oh, Here so they it was... are, the pictures we developed from it. And you know what this tells me? Harry almost had it figured out. Oh, Look dear. at that. Yep, that's most likely R. And some warehouses, too. It's too bad we can't tell where this is. You know... Seen this building before. This is Rhyme Wharf. We'll go check it out. The culprits could still be there. Maybe using it as a hideout. <sighs> oh, brother. I hope he doesn't start with that whole it's too dangerous spiel. All right. Take Axel Gore with you. <gasps> you remember, it's my partner. I'm not going to tell oh. you to stop investigating. But since you were attacked at the TV station, it's the very least I can do. Axelcor is quite dependable. If you run into any trouble, send it back and I'll get help. Excelsa! We will, Mr. Baker. Excelcor, thank you. Excelcor! Tim, wasn't this guy really shy before? Hope it's not a problem. We'll be on our way. Well, I guess we don't have much of a choice, do we? No, you know. Run works. So this is Ryan Wharf. Yeah, so this is mostly where all the cargo ships from different countries come in. Including cruise ships. Oh, I'd love to go on the cruise ship. Wow, what a huge ship! It's probably here for the parade today. Now that's a true luxury liner. Yeah. I'll bet the food is really good too. Exactly. Not to the coffee afterwards. Oh, yeah. Sal, Sal Garcelle. What? Bitter? Coffee is practically a detective's trademark. Sal Gore. Pikachu, what are you doing? Just giving Excel Gore a lesson in detective etiquette. Right. Anyway. We should probably start gathering testimony. Sell, sell, go. Sell, go, sell. Uh, huh, where's Excelgor going? It said it's not good at communicating. I guess it really is shy. Well, that's no good. It's supposed to be here helping us out. Oh. I swear, that Excelgor. Well, I hope you know why we're here. Why did we come to Rhyme More? To investigate the X in the Flying Park? No, we already, we already got that. Find out where Harry went. Uh, yeah, we could be it. 
Oh, yeah, I mean, you're right, but we came up with something specific. What was that? To go up to investigate the warehouses. That's right, we need to investigate the warehouse. We need to find the exact warehouse that's in Harry's photo and, and, can see, and see what it can show us. First, we need to have a good, good look at the photos and figure out what we need to ask. Huh? Why, why, why don't we have one photo? What happens to the rest of them? Oh, I kept a photo of the warehouse, but Exalga is holding on to the rest. Huh? Well, I guess we have to find Exalgar first, then. Find a way. Let's start by gathering testimony. Oh, there it is. So Could you not disappear all of a sudden? He's a pretty buff guy. Yeah, his shoulders seem twice as mine. I wonder what those, if those are the man's containers. There's a date here. A week before Harry had his accident. Big Shoe, look at the date. It's the day Harry had his accident. So my dad came here before the accident. Maybe you were with him. Is this stuff from a warehouse? Yeah, it seems like they're moving out. Moving it out. Looks like they're opening the gate. It's a warehouse. We need to find this building and see what is hiding. For that, we need to gather testimony. Looks he lo is he one of the workers here? It looks like he's giving orders to the Pokemon. It says this is taking three days to hold my dad's accident. This is Keith. I wonder who he is. Looks like he was speaking with Keith. Must be one of Keith's men. Let's see if we can find find out more of him too. Let's see. Hey, this is the date of my dad's accident. It was taken 12 hours before. Looks like they're carrying things with some go on the conveyor belts. This must be the second floor. Looks like looks like things are being carried into the warehouse by the conveyor belts. Is this guy a scientist? I, th I had thought Carlos... I thought Carlos was the only one working with her. I guess they had other help too. I wonder what those machines are for. Are they both the same thing? Could they be machines that make art? Who knows? What's wrong, Pikachu? You've gone quiet. I don't know. Does this escape me the feeling that I have something important to do? This has taken 11 hours before my dad's accident. Check the time on this one. It's 10 hours before his accident. This has got to be R. I didn't realise they'd made so much of it. This is me, right? Yeah, you don't have anything. You ha must have been with him too. Don't you remember anything? No, I can't remember anything. Uh, so that's all. I don't know what to do now. What do we do now? We should get the testimony about the warehouse and the guy in the photo. Okay. Well, there was a guy around here. Huh? You need to find this warehouse because you're looking for someone? Uh, this photo doesn't tell me much. There are so many warehouses around here. It's called the warehouse area for a reason. Oh, I know. Take a look at this. A map? Thank you. Oh, you can have it. Here, have a look. Uh, the, th the three areas around the wharf are full of warehouses. If it's only three areas, I think we can cover them all. How many warehouses are in total? Hmm, I'd say about 100. That many? Yeah, each area has at least 30 warehouses. I don't think I've seen any of these people before. Sorry, it's not from what I've had. According to the map, the warehouse district around Rhyme Wharf is divided into three areas. Yeah, and each one looks pretty big. Now we need to, to now we need to find the exact warehouse that's in the photo. Oh, there's a... I think it's a Rattata. Yes, a Rattata. We'll go anywhere for food. What are you running around for? What? You want to get on the ship? Oh, so there are lots of tasty things on board. You're trying to get on the ship by climbing the rope, but you always get back, bounced down to the end? Yeah, you're never going to try getting if you just keep in the same approach. 
See, if you don't succeed in the first time, why do you, you need to stop and think about why? Then change how you go about it. Oop. You got that up. If you keep that up, you'll eventually succeed. Got that? Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh. You're seeing like for, for this warehouse? Sorry, I can't help you there. All the warehouses in this area look pretty much the same. It's such a huge place. Each of the areas still deals with different goods. Though I think too, I think A and B dealt with machinery mostly. some more. Do you want to know if I recognize these people? Yes, even if I wanted them. Hey, I think I've seen this pair somewhere. Well, tell us what you remember. Let's see, it was about two months ago. They were unloading a machine from a ship. A machine? What kind of a machine? I don't remember what it looked like, but it must have been expensive. The scrawny guy in the photo kept nagging the carriers not to damage it. You want to know which warehouse it is? You need to go on to more photo. I think it might it might help to figure out what goods are stored here. I think A and C dealt with food. Well, it looks like these warehouse areas store food. Mm -hmm. The water the last one, or if there is one. Hey, I know this blonde guy. He drops by off pretty often to load up the goods. Um, I think he comes around from either A or B. And why do you think that? Oh, it's because he always comes from the south. The south and road connects to area A and B. Um, well, I don't know. Oh, maybe he's on these. Oh, well, Tim, it sounds like the man in the photo had with he has something to do with warehouse after all. Yeah, I wonder why he could be. He would, or something like that. That's right. If we can, oh. If we can figure out what's in the containers he deals with, he might be able to narrow down where the warehouse is. Which goods is the man hand on? Machamp. Sorry to put you all working, we're trying to find out what this guy deals with. He asked you to carry one of his containers? You, you wouldn't forget a person with such wonderful muscles? Well, what kind of luggage did he have you carry? It smelled really bad? Oh, you got too excited and accidentally dropped a container. And its contents went everywhere and made the whole area stink. And we got scalded by the guy too. Okay. Wait. Wait, he said something about him working with blue containers. You want to know more about the containers and the man in photos to deal with? Well, I only saw it once, so I can't say much. Mm, oh, I know a bit about that. They're sorted by the colour. The blue containers have a... Uh, you know, I can't remember. Let me check with the guys off on the ship. Hey, Pelipper. Could you fly over there with this ladder? Okay, so I'm just going to go on. Let's ask this guy about containers. Uh, A and B and C are storage areas for oil. I'm in charge of loading the oil tanks, so I. Some of that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm really forgetting everything. Looks like they store oil in these warehouses. Okay, so. The container demands the oil in photo. Doesn't ring any bells. Well, I do see Rattata sniffing at the cane that are lying around. I wonder what that's all about. It's just, I think it's something around uh, out, something that smells pretty bad. Oh, he's back. Welcome back, Pelipper. I see you brought the response with you. Great, thanks, Pelipper. Well, kid, we got the answer right here. The blue containers are for food, the red ones are for oil, and the green ones are for machinery. Okay, so... 
What do you need that more about? Are you going to ask for Tava? You sure stay for anti Canadian's law? Something you've done that interesting? The blue container has a really so sm strong smell, so you're checking the other container to see if they have any of them smell too. Does it smell that good? It's not like that. It's really strong, but it grows on you. Oh. Wow, the blue containers will re must really stink. Oh, so he must be... Open up your case notes in this way. He must... He says... Oh. I'm wondering what kind of stuff this man works with. Is there any testimony about that? Uh, well, there's only three here. What stuff is that man working with? I think he's working with food. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely food. We were told that whatever it is the man deals with is very smelly. Also, it's the blue containers that smell. From that, we can conclude the man in question is dealing with the blue containers. He's handling food. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, I went into the wrong one. We may be able to find the warehouse if we can figure out who the man in the photo is with Keith. Let's investigate. They contain oil? No, that's the wrong one. They contain food? I think that's... I'm, I'm not sure if they can... No. Keep them out, but very carefully. Okay. Definitely this one. I think the next one is uh, Pikachu's one. Now let's think. Which area is it that has the warehouse we see in the photo? Well, he's handling food, and he comes up from either A or B. But either B doesn't deal with food, so it has to be A. It's in warehouse A. So we must have did it. We found it. It's time to get moving, huh? So no more dawdling. We found a warehouse in the photo. Okay, so that's good. That's the main case over. Based on the photos left by my father, we had it to the warehouse area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Something fishy's going on. We've got to get in somehow. Whoa, check that out. You mean the window? It's open, but how are we going to get to it? Cell door! Says it's doable, huh? We can do it, Tim. Together. Huh? What? All right. <sighs> yeah. We can do this, partner. I'm the brains and you are the brawn, right? Wait, what's that sound? Tim, let's go. Employ the warehouse. We'll use this truck as cover and sneak in. Oh my god. <laughs> this is my first miss. Well, you're gonna climb up on us, Pikachu.
Please always have scenes like this. Hey, what was that? Cell door. Cell. Over there. Cell door. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here because I think this is the where the second part comes in. Woo, well, we managed to get in. Yeah, and let's have a look around quietly though. New case, search interior to where. Okay, after this, I'm gonna end it. Watch out when you investigate. Without getting caught. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for new Detective Daily, Weekly? Yeah, Weekly Detective Pikachu videos. And yes, I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, see you later. Bye.